Hello and welcome to this video which is about applying Kirchhoff's laws to a circuit and this is applicable to AS level physics and um, hopefully you'll find it helpful. So um, here's a circuit and now notice in this circuit there are two opposing cells 18 volts and 4 volts. We've been asked the question what's the current to R2 and what are the PDs across R1 and R2. So we need to first of all deal with this difficult problem where we have two cells that are opposing one another. Well, we're going to deal with that one by thinking about uh, their opposing. So one of them will be positive and one of them will be negative. So what we can say is therefore, because we know that, the sum of the EMFs of those two cells equals 18 minus four, which gives us 14 volts. Now the current through R2, you may have noticed this is a series circuit, so the current at any point in that circuit is going to be um, the same. The total resistance of the circuit, there are only two resistors, there's four and three. Therefore we can use the expression I equals V over R. And as long as we remember to use the 14 volts for the EMF, and we remember to use the total resistance of seven, for, the, uh, for R there, we find that the current flowing in the circuit is 2 amps, and that is also obviously the same as the current through R2. Answer the first question. Second question is, what are the PDs across R1 and R2? It might be useful at this point to formally state what Kirchhoff's second law is, which says that the sum of the EMFs, I'm going to do it in the algebraic form, is equal to sum of the voltage drops in the circuit, and I'll write that as the sum of I times R for the two resistors in the circuit. So putting in the numbers here, I know what the sum of the EMF is, I've worked that out before, it's 14, and that equals the sum of IR. Now I know that the I is the same in each, all over the circuit, so I end up with IR1 plus IR2. IR1, well I is 2, R1 is 3, so that becomes 2 times 3, plus I is 2, and R2 is 4, that becomes 2 times 4, and that should add up to 14. 2 3s are 6, just 2 4s are 8, which it does, that adds up to 14, and that tells me that the PD through R1 must be 6 volts, and the PD, sorry, not through, the PD across R1 is 6 volts, and the PD across R2 is 8 volts question answered and hope you find that helpful please subscribe to this channel if you want more of these videos to help you with your a-level physics bye for now